turns out it was a synthetic cabinoid, which is something that mixed in with regular pot can cause some real trouble, and it did for two teens in Milton. Now, Halton Regional Police had this substance tested, and they found out that it wasn't fentanyl as they first feared, but it was something that kind of had the same effect. They called a hot spot, and it went straight to the receptors of these young men, which caused the seizures. Inspector Kevin Mahar explains it. Yeah, through follow-up investigation and some testing that was done, uh, what we believe has happened is that the two young men in Milton uh, had ingested a quantity of synthetic cannabinoids. Uh, it's a substance that is illegal here in Canada. It's a man-made substance that has some um, very dangerous uh, properties and uh, we believe that's what's caused their medical distress uh, back about a month ago. Synthetic cannabinoids are a man-made substance, so essentially a chemical. They are designed to mimic uh, the same properties as cannabis, but this is not an organic substance like cannabis. This isn't something that is grown. This is a man-made uh, chemical. And it is sometimes marketed in the form of a uh, plant substance is sprayed uh, with the synthetic cannabinoids and then marketed as an alternative to, to cannabis, but it is not a safe alternative to cannabis. It's a dangerous drug uh, for a number of different reasons. It was three hero police officers that used the Narcan to save the lives of these two young men, and they'll determine in the future if that's the right piece of equipment that they need for this new idea of the synthetic, kind of a, a marijuana synthetic. Time will tell, but for now, there's two very lucky young men. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Joe Warmington.